Now it's up to you, a legendary builder, to return the power of creation to the people and rebuild Alephgar. I gotta tell you, it's been incredible to be playing Dragon Quest Builders on the Nintendo Switch and seeing all of this medieval architecture all around me as I've been traveling around Europe. This is almost the perfect platform when people say, what makes a game perfect for the Nintendo Switch? And I almost want to hold up a picture of this title because this is a game that is incredibly difficult to put down. This is a merging of the Dragon Quest lore with all of those great colorful characters and monsters with a uh, Minecraft kind of conceit, you know, where you're building your world uh, and you're tasked with kind of rebuilding this this demolished town and populating it with different people that you're gonna find as you explore the environment around your little village that you're trying to build up and not only can you customize your own little town that you live in and build it up with mud and then grass and then eventually stone and glass and metals and things like that but you can also build little pockets of civilization almost everywhere that you go and of course all of this stuff takes a tremendous amount of time you'll have to dig for resources bashing into uh, mounds of earth to you know, first dig up earth and then you get enough you get a powerful hammer and you can bash into some stone and then you can take that stone and cultivate it and transform it into stone walls and stone floors and then you can dig into the desert and and cultivate that sand that you dig up into uh, glass uh, and there's metal that you can accumulate as well to outfit yourself with uh, better armor and better weapons <laughs> One of the great things about this title is that it can be shared. You can, uh, I played it with my daughter and she absolutely loved it. It's got a kid-friendly kind of aesthetic, but it's a really deep, cool game, you know? Not only are you uh, sort of snickering and laughing at the uh, the smart-ass uh, dialogue and story that's all the way through this, characters are constantly, uh, you know, poking you to see if you've fallen asleep as you're reading through this, this long uh, narrative that is there for you if you enjoy the Dragon Quest lore, which is cool because this kind of fits within the stories of Dragon Quest and familiar characters pop up in here too. Um, uh, Toriyama's incredible uh, character design is on is in full effect here. Uh, and so you can have that level of fun, but you also have just this tremendous kind of engagement and enjoyment from building up your facilities and, and uh, you know, outfitting your character and cool stuff that you can constantly build. And the thing about this title is that you're always on the hunt for those materials and sometimes even that takes a long time. For example, I was looking for coarse cloth forever so I could build Pippa and armoire and it took me forever to find the skeletons that I could bash and kill and then finally they coughed up the coarse cloth and I built her the armoire and she was so happy. She gave me so many great, uh, you know, experience points. And that's the thing about this game. You don't get experience points. You're not really leveling up yourself. You're leveling up your base. You're trying to build up your world. And so it takes time to get all of the stuff that you need to be able to do that. And, and it's also not just about you know, finding the materials to sort of reinforce the walls and, and uh, make it tougher for the monsters that come at night. Yes, they use that uh, Minecraft trope. Uh, monsters come and attack you at nighttime, and you do have to build up a fortress. But you're also rewarded for uh, cool decorations that you're going to put up in your in your room, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a, a cool fire source like a sconce, or you're hanging a leather bag on the wall, or you're, you're building chests or stone tables or dining tables or even uh, sort of fake food to show off that this is a you know an extravagant place um, all of that stuff accumulates in your your sort of experience points for your base and that's how you level up and that's how you sort of move into new chapters and all also all of the uh, interaction that you have with your characters that are inside of your world uh, they send you off on mini missions they have desires that you they need uh, placating um, and it all of it is incredibly fun and it looks great and it runs great on the Nintendo Switch, whether you're in handheld mode or, or uh, plugged into a television set. It's a wonderful game, and uh, I, you know I can't recommend it enough for anybody that has a Nintendo Switch. If you've already played this game on the PlayStation 4, though, it's kind of a tough sell to say, look, you need this again so you can carry it anywhere with you. But like any good book that's really hard to put down, this is a phenomenal experience to carry with you, and to travel with it has been wonderful. Dragon Quest Builders is an excellent game. Gets a 9 out of 10 for me.